what's up beautiful people it's indarima welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's about katrine mcbroom she's speaking out so yeah let's check it out the ace family recently announced that they're getting a divorce with both Catherine and austin having posted separate statements on instagram sharing the news with the public the reactions have been insane with tons of people celebrating for Catherine, which sounds weird to say because obviously a divorce is a hard sensitive situation but people have just disliked mm -hmm. these two so much over the years and heard all the rumors about austin having been unfaithful and seen how loyal Catherine has been staying by his side and always defending him and coming up with all these scams and lies together that everyone is just happy to see her get away from all of that i think people are just wanting to see what she can do on her own maybe she'll prove to everyone that her and austin are one in the same and the weird money schemes and scams will continue or maybe she'll completely turn around her image which i think is what a lot of people are hoping to see happen for her Catherine has now decided to speak out further about everything going on, sharing more information about their divorce on Snapchat, answering questions, and talking about where they're at in all of this and how she's been feeling. And it sounds like she's doing great, the best she has ever been, matter of fact. Catherine explained kind of what went wrong, and it sounds like she just was not happy in the relationship, but stuck it out because of their kids and tried to make it work until she truly just could not anymore. And I'm sure this is gonna go everywhere, but I, I do wanna say that, and I, I, own, I own this, I own up to this, I lied to myself for a very long time. And I was not happy, and my main priority was always, always, always my kids and my family, and just prioritizing them because they're the most important thing to me. And I feel like at the end of the day, nothing else really matters other than your family and people that are close to you and love. Like love is literally the strongest, most important force in this universe. So that's kind of what I've always prioritized. And so moving forward now, um, things have changed because I realized that in order for my kids to truly be happy, I have to be truly happy, like truly, truly, truly happy inside. And yeah, I feel like I was lying to myself for a long time, telling myself that I was happy. From what Catherine is saying, it sounds like she really was just this supportive rock to Austin and didn't want to cause problems in their relationship. Just was there for him and their family and she really hurt because of that, putting everyone before herself. One thing about me and Austin is we never fought, we never argued, no, no, nothing, like nothing. Like we were and still are the bestest friends. And so for me, I thought like, oh, there's nothing wrong. Like there's nothing wrong here. But um, I had been lying to myself and I knew that certain things didn't feel right and certain things weren't right. And this goes back like years. It just is clear from this Snapchat that after everything that's happened with them over the years, she had had enough. And for the first time in a long time, she's choosing herself in order to be better for her kids. One thing about me is my loyalty and my commitment to my family is unmatched. And that's one thing that I will always take pride on because my loyalty is like, like, I'm like the definition of loyal. <laughs> like I'm very loyal and um, I just, I always protect and I protect my family and I protect everyone. Like if you're a friend of mine, I will protect you. If, you, if I love you, I protect you. And that's kind of my personality and that's kind of who I've always been and that's truly who I am. And like I have this like fire in me, this strength about protection that I will always have. And so I think being this way has kind of caused me to put aside my happiness and um i'm saying a lot without saying a lot right now we've seen just how loyal Catherine has been to not only austin but his entire family she mm. stuck up for austin as well as his brother landon let's even talk about this because it's sad to see that um people's favorite couple on social media breaking up or divorce divorcing many people will be sad about it some people will be happy about it but also let's not forget that kids are involved at this point and it's also going to be affecting these kids and i honestly feel sad for the kids because 
they don't even know what is going on or they do not even ask for this and just hope and pray it doesn't affect them negatively the sense because now seeing that they once had two parents or parents who were in the picture involved in their lives now knowing that their parents are going to be living separately and they don't know how to, they're going to take it it's going to affect them in ways that we can yes we might say oh no they will be having the best experience or best time of their life but let's not forget that these are kids and one or two things will be going or running through their mind and it will affect them one way or the other to think that they moved or they saw their parents being happy from happy and loving family to separate separated or divorced it's just it's just sad but all the same sometimes some people are not just compatible in marriage they can be compatible with as friends but marriage might not be the best or the solution or what would work for them but yeah let's continue family she stuck up for austin as well as his brother landon which a lot of people have said that she owes shyla an apology because when shyla came out about what went down in her relationship with landon she accused him of having hurt her a number of times among mm. other things and Catherine was the one who actually responded to shyla posting a video on snapchat going off on her basically and defended landon saying that he's a good guy so we have seen just how loyal Catherine has been to this family she still seems to be on good terms with austin though she's saying that they're still best friends through all of this so I'm sure she will still continue to be somewhat loyal to the family since she is being nice about how things ended but I think people are hoping to see her apologize to Shyla or for them to be able to connect in some way I don't really see it happening but I mean we'll just have to see but Catherine does seem so happy now that she is in this new phase of life and she said on her snapchat that she's really just never been happier than she is right now. Mm. I just want to say that I am truly, truly, truly happy. Like, wow. I have never been this happy in my life. And it's not because of the change, but it's because of where I feel within myself and where I've, I have been for a while now. I've, I've been feeling like this for months. I feel like I'm in a good place now. I have no fears of nothing or anyone. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> flowing through life. She did want to say that even though she is happy, there is sadness there as this is a huge change and her and Austin have been together for such a long time. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised to honestly hear that as of right now, they're still living together. Austin is moving out soon, but I was kind of shocked by this because I think I just figured that when they announced the news of their divorce, that they had probably already been separated and living apart for some time and had come to wow. terms with everything. So they felt comfortable announcing, but I guess they're taking us on this new phase of life journey with them just because i am happy and i feel good and i'm happy with my decision and i'm going in the direction that i truly feel like i should be going doesn't mean that i'm not sad at the same time hmm. um, there's a lot of sadness i don't think it's really like hit me yet because austin hasn't moved to his new place yet but there's sadness. Yes, it's like a mourning a death or something. Like it's like mourning, like I, I can truly say that this would be like the first time that I have to mourn something that has like died in my life, like ended in my life, hmm. um, figuratively speaking, of course. And I don't want anyone to think that just because I'm happy doesn't mean that I also don't have sadness for the changes and for my children and for the new dynamic. There's going to be a lot of changes happening like soon, like transitioning. I still don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm very new to this new dynamic that we're going to be unfolding and going into, but I'm okay with it. I got no fears. I'm okay with it. And it's okay. She said they plan to stay a strong parenting unit for their kids and hang out, having their kids see them together. So it's not like oh. there's bad blood, but Catherine also ended up answering some questions that people had sent her and the answers were quite interesting. Someone asked her about what she had mentioned in her Snapchat about things in their relationship that didn't feel right. They said, also what kinds of certain things that didn't feel right? She said, pressure of the world and everyone looking to destroy us, not having good communication, growing at different rates, etc. 
Everyone mm. looking to destroy us is such an interesting statement because I feel like nobody was actively like, OMG, I want to split these two up. But there were <laughs> accusations that came out about Austin, not once, not twice, but multiple times and from multiple big name influencers who had said they had witnessed things firsthand or saw Austin out and were calling him out. I don't think that multiple influencers or people were lying about what they witnessed. I think people wanted better for Catherine and it is why a lot of people have been so vocal about it but she was going to be loyal i just don't think people wanted her out of their relationship for no reason they were obviously talking about their relationship because of all the things that had come out and been seen. And if that's not what she's referencing in terms of people trying to destroy them, if she's talking about people reporting on them and things like that, I mean, they kind of brought all that stuff on themselves from all the lies they told and the scams and the foreclosure, like that was gonna be news, not because anyone was just making it up. All those lawsuits were public record, the foreclosure mm -hmm. was public record, so that's on them. But she was asked about this part specifically when someone said, the world wants to destroy good things, it's jealousy, why let it happen? She said, I learned that early on, a lot of evil eye, but we handled that very well until we really had to face a lot of darkness to make us grow, that was hard. At the end of the day, it's good that she's saying that she is the happiest that she's ever been and prioritizing herself and her own happiness in order to be better for her kids. And I think she has a lot of support behind her, even though the Ace family has been so controversial and scandalous. But I think people are willing to see where this new chapter of life leads her. But I want to know what you guys think about what Catherine had to say about everything in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Wow. Woo. This is interesting, but it's safe to say that since she came out here to say she, this is the happiest she has ever been, let's just take a word for it and hope, hope hoping for the best for her because it seems like... Um, she has been taking a lot or dealing with a lot, lot, especially in the family. And that is the problem with social media couples and people who portray or put their ma marriage or their everything about them on social media, especially if they're couples. Because sometimes people look at them and say, oh, they fancy this couple, they love this couple, they love that they love each other and these are couple goals. They want their marriage to be like this and all of that. And sometimes some people just don't know that. It's sometimes it's not all that it seems sometimes social media couples there's a lot that goes on behind the scene and sometimes you will not want to know sometimes they just put on a, a, a show or put on smiles because they're in front of camera and all of that thing and it's safe to say that they as as social media couples they still came online to break this sad news to other people and to let people know about their them moving on and everything. All the same, safe to say that depending on their arrangement or whatever they have, I hope this doesn't affect the kids negatively. But all the same, lots of people should also know that just because your favorite couple or favorite social media couple broke up their relationship or marriage doesn't mean that all relationship or all marriage is gonna be the same. Marriage is not a one size fits all. And some people just don't work out some other people can walk out or would walk out or would have a beautiful family it doesn't have to be just like what other people portray on social media that your marriage should look like no just run your marriage or run your family the way that best fits you and your partner but all the same i'm sure tons of people have got a different opinion regarding this and i really love your honest contribution to this you can show the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.